This allotment ratatouille recipe is inspired by the classic French dish of stewed vegetables. It tastes delicious and is a great way of enjoying nutritious British vegetables. For anyone growing their own vegetables, I think this dish can be used to celebrate all their hard work and the recipe is easy to adapt to what is fresh and available. I'm using chard in this recipe, but this can be substituted for any spinach. I particularly like New Zealand spinach, which is relatively easy to grow, or even kale or cabbage. Peppers can be substituted for tomatillos, and if there are homegrown aubergines, throw these in too. Chard and courgettes are two of the most easy allotment vegetables to grow. Sometimes the challenge is how to use up a bumper harvest in an enjoyable way, which this recipe is ideal for. Allotment ratatouille is quick and easy to make once all the preparation and chopping is done. The idea is to slowly cook the vegetables until they combine together to produce a delicious medley of flavours, with a little olive oil, vinegar and sugar to bring out their flavour. If you like this recipe, you may also like the Spanish variation of stewed vegetables called pisto. There will be a link to my Spanish pisto recipe below the video. Hello, I'm Liam and this is a short introduction to say this is a recipe from the Home Coffee Shop collection. You can see the full ingredients and all my other recipes on my website. See the link below the video. The recipes are ideal for anyone looking to find enjoyable ways to eat more nutritious food, whether for yourself or your family. Some people like to peel the skin off their tomatoes, but in this dish I like to use cherry tomatoes and keep all the goodness that's contained in the skin. I love the sweetness of cherry tomatoes and I think they really help the overall flavour of the dish. To prepare them, I give them a good wash and chop them in half. Any colour of pepper will do, but if available, I prefer the sharpness of a green pepper as it will provide more flavour. The pepper is first cut into lengths and then the lengths cut to provide two centimetre pieces. The courgettes are roughly cut into one centimetre cubes. This size helps them cook faster and cutting into cubes means they mix better with the other ingredients. The onion and the garlic is chopped finely. I like to prepare all the ingredients before cooking to make the cooking process less stressful and more enjoyable. The washed chard should be prepared by separating the stalks and the leaves. The stalks need to be cooked for longer and I prepare them by chopping into two centimetre pieces. The leaves are set aside, there is no need to chop them I prefer to rip them up when it's their time to be added to the pot. After chopping the charred stalks, boil some water and gently simmer them for four minutes. Then add the ripped charred leaves and cook for a further two minutes. Immediately drain and set aside. The onion is fried on its own to sweeten it. Add the chopped onion to a pan together with a generous pour of olive oil on a hob set to a medium heat. This is best done in a large pan with a lid, turning occasionally. After a few minutes, the onion should turn yellow and become transparent, and be sweet to the taste. At this stage, remove the onion from the pan and set aside. Next, fry the courgettes and pepper together using the same method in the same pan. They should be ready in approximately 5 minutes, once they are browned and softened. If they start to stick to the base of the pan, try adding a splash of cold water to refresh. When the courgettes and pepper are ready, return the onion to the pan and add in the previously cooked chard, both the leaves and stalks. Give the mixture a good stir to check that nothing is sticking, before adding the garlic and tomatoes. The dish has a wonderful combination of colours, but it is not ready yet. There is a final slow cooking step where all the vegetables fully soften and release their juices. To do this, add the remaining olive oil, the balsamic vinegar, and sugar to the pan and bring the mixture up to a gentle simmer over a medium heat. Turn the heat down to avoid burning the vegetables on the base of the pan and cover with a lid. The lid plays a crucial role at this stage. It keeps moisture in the dish and speeds up cooking time as the vegetables are both cooked due to the heat from the hob and in the steam retained by using the lid. For the next 10 minutes Keep the ingredients gently simmering and every so often stir the ratatouille to check that nothing is sticking. At the end of the cooking time, all the vegetables should look deliciously soft and juicy. It is time for serving. 
I think the dish is best enjoyed immediately, but it can be kept in the fridge and reheated before serving. The slow-cooked vegetables should be meltingly soft and sweet, with all the flavours combining together in a delicious tasting stew. Enjoy! Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. After subscribing, click the bell to ensure you are notified every time a new video is added.